could that offer could that offer be like let's say if you've segmented your database you have your chinese your indian your pakistani the arab arabic yeah. and it, you say oh, this is a offer we want to send this offer to our database but we don't want to send it in english we want to can can your system then say all right if they've been tagged accordingly would that be uh sent in their language correct well, we would do that? a multi-lingual broadcast message of an offer and that's you know, and that's quite unique in the marketplace now but i think that you know we had an experience quite some time ago steve where we saw in the hospitality sector, a group of uh, Chinese tra um, travelers who are engaging with the G's Plus platform and the concierge of the hotel through our platform. And they were elated. And what we found is that when they engage with the, with the hotel staff in their language, they spend in the hotel. They didn't have to go out to a Chinese restaurant they had a beautiful steak dinner in the hotel. So the hotel improved their... The good word is ROI. That's what everyone... ROI, says. yes, yes. <laughs> good old ROI. <laughs> us, te us technologists, you know, we, don't, we don't understand these, these sales <laughs> things, Steve. But we did some recent testing with the, uh, the Ethnic Community Council of New South Wales. We wanted to say to ourselves, okay, we have the platform to do customer service. We now have the translation engines to be able to provide that. But what we wanted to do is to make sure that our language was appropriate. Now, in our testing with ECC New South Wales, Ethnic Community Council of New South Wales, we learned what they commonly refer to as cultural intelligence. We learned that when you're dealing with an Arabic person, there's certain things that you have to be mindful of. When you're dealing with a Hindi person, there's certain things you have to be mindful of. Mm -hmm. So we're now developing to address those idiosyncrasies with the multicultural marketplace. We're addressing and we're developing what we call cultural intelligence training. So those operators will have cultural intelligence training. So when they do speak with somebody in Arabic or Greek or whatever, they are sensitive to those, those elements. Google Business Messenger, which I want to highlight, Steve, is you, you have the ability to be able to engage with the customer at the search. So when people search for your business on Google, which is the world's great search engine, we can provide the ability for you can have a chat directly from search. Or when you want to find them on maps, we can have that conversation directly from maps. So SMS, Facebook Messenger, we all love Facebook Messenger. And then you've got Google Business Messenger and we've taken it one step further to take that chat. So when they're on the web, that little chat bubble comes on the bottom right-hand side of the screen of the business and they can have that chat. They can now have that chat in 109 languages.